if you're editing same kinds of video every single day then you should make custom sequence preset in adobe premiere pro that will save a lot of time when you are editing your video so today i'm going to show you how you can make your custom sequence setting in adobe premiere pro so when you are opening adobe premiere pro and making a new project then you will have a screen just like that to get started you need to make a new sequence sequence is like a placeholder for all of your media files like video audio photos etc right so let's make a new sequence you can just right click here in your project panel here is the project panel i'm just right clicking here and from the new item you can click sequence or you can just click here which is new item button and from here you can click sequence if you click here then this window will pop up so here you can see i have already made some custom sequence for my likings right so when i want to make a new sequence i can just click here and then i can just click ok to make a new sequence as my likings but if you haven't made any custom sequence preset then you will not see this option right so we are going to make our new preset for sequence from the scratch so first just select any preset that you like i'm just going here which is digital slr then you can click 1080p and from here you can select any fps setting suppose i should all up my video in 24 fps so i'm just selecting 24 then you have to go to settings just beside sequence preset click here then you'll see this option so from here we have to change the settings as our likings the first one is time base which will determine the fps that you want to edit on i will select 24 fps from here the next section which is video frame size that is very important you need to make sure that the frame size is matching with your camera settings as i'm shooting my video in 4k the resolution is 3840 and 2160 so i have to write it here if you're shooting your video in 1080p then you can just keep it as it is 1920 into 1080p and if you shoot your video in different resolution then you can just write it here so i'm just writing it 3840 and 2160 now keep pixel aspect ratio and fills as it is and from the display format select 24 fps time code and for working color space you can select rec 709 from the audio you can keep it as it is and from the video preview section also you can keep it as it is which is 1920 into 1080p and from this section if you are using a high-end graphics card then you can enable maximum bit depth and maximum render that will enhance the preview experience when you are editing your video i will not enable it because i am not using a high-end graphics card and last option is composite in linear color just mark it and then you can click here which is save preset click here then give it a name i'm just naming it my favorite sequence and if you click ok then it will make a new custom sequence if you go here which is custom option then you'll see my favorite sequence is here now you can just click here and then you can give it a name and then click ok that will make a new sequence with the property that you have set right so that is all for today this is the process that you can follow to make a new sequence preset in adobe premiere pro and i hope that will save a lot of time when you are editing your video every single day so that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye